Welcome back to the Comic Book Bracket here on Movie Feuds. I'm your host, Adam Olinger. Today we're talking MCU, short for Magical Climaxing Unicorn, of course. That's referencing a previous episode of this feud, which is fair and relevant because MCU in general kind of requires you to watch all 3,625 previous entries to really appreciate the ensemble films we have today. Otherwise, you don't know who Scarlet Witch is or, or Quicksilver or some of these other ragtag characters they come across. I don't think that's a bad thing. In fact, I'm all for it. If anybody can do ensemble pictures, it's Marvel. And today, we're feuding the best of the best on Movie Feuds. I've already talked about some of these guys to the point of exhaustion in the past, so I'm going to kind of gloss over them a little bit, focus on some of the lesser knowns. Hawkeye at first was just a Legolas in present day, played by Jason Bourne 2.0, but in Age of Ultron they actually made me give a shit about him. Mark Ruffalo is fine as the Hulk, I was actually really pleased with his portrayal in the first Avengers movie since the Hulk was more fun towards the end, but oftentimes in these films I just find him too damn depressing. I'm not knocking Norton or Ruffalo, but something about Eric Bana just worked better for me. I know that's the unpopular opinion, but this is an unpopular channel, so it just kind of makes sense. We got introduced to Vision in Age of Ultron along with a myriad of other characters, but he really stood out to me. I, I just like his whole look, his whole presence. I don't know what it was like in the comics. I couldn't tell you a single thing about him in the comics, but he was very cool on screen for me. I wish Quicksilver left me with that same impression, but alas, he does not. Aaron Taylor Johnson's performance is just not memorable. He has almost no pulse throughout this film, and by the end of it, he's just lifeless. Elizabeth Olsen has driven home the fact that a short skirt and a ridiculous accent are really all I look for in a woman. Then there's my boy Bucky, aka the Winter Soldier, really blossoming into a well-rounded fun character. Tom Holland joins the roster, and although he made a great first impression, I still prefer the Tobes. But Holland could still win me over with this solo outing stupidly titled Spider-Man Homecoming or the inevitable sequels, Spider-Man Summer School or Spider-Man Gym Class. Guardians of the Galaxy completed the Chris trifecta by bringing in Chris Pratt as Star-Lord. The entire Guardians of the Galaxy cast is just perfect, with Zoe Saldana rocking the green instead of the blue, Dave Bautista, and the voices of Bradley Cooper and Vin Diesel. If we're talking villains, then I have the minority vote again because I think Ultron is the best of the bunch. The rest are serviceable. Zemo in Civil War had an edge due to being a regular guy instead of a god or a giant AI, but there was nothing special or unique about his character. Ultron has personality. He got shit done. And James Spader was just a lot of fun in the role. Don't get me wrong, Loki is a terrific villain. He soaks up the screen with his presence. He just never felt threatening in the slightest. Are any of these characters comic book accurate? How the hell would I know? I haven't picked up a comic in over 20 years. So of course, I'm the best candidate to do a comic book bracket. We, do we want to leave all these sarcastic lines in? I mean, I have a lot of dumb fucking people who watch this show. Just don't respond, thanks. Guardians was a hilarious non-stop thrill ride and one of the funniest films they've done to date. Its location? Space! It's crazy, isn't it? It also pays a lot of tribute to some classic sci-fi flicks, Star Wars, Star Trek, Alien, and of course, Pluto Nash. I'm joking, none of that's true. Meanwhile, The Avengers essentially is the superhero movie. There's no other film quite like it. Except Age of Ultron, which is exactly like it. And I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Come closer. Closelier. I like Age of Ultron more. What? <laughs> I did a feud pitting these two together a while ago, and while I do sometimes play devil's advocate if a guest comes on, I was sincere here. Skylar, can we put a clip up here of that video so that the viewers can see I have other stuff on this channel? They click over to that, double dip, I get more views, more rev, short for revenue. Or you can just ignore me and continue to be a complete waste of space in this organization. I hate your face. Then there's Civil War, which just might be my favorite of the litter, but these movies are all kind of the same shit. Same shit, different day. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's good shit. It's shit I quite enjoy, shit I can sink my teeth into. It's a terrible metaphor. I do have a minor gripe with these titles and that's that they're misleading. Age of Ultron should have been called Avengers, A Day in the Life of Ultron, and Civil War should have been called Captain America, small hang up, small misunderstanding, something like that. Miscommunication. 
And it doesn't quite sound as exciting on the poster, but it's more accurate. There was no all-out war. None of these guys wanted to kill each other. Regardless, I still liked all these films, and Guardians really stands out within this grouping. But it's time to think outside the box now a little bit more. Give us something different. And I hope Avengers Infinity War will be just that. It won't. If any movie's gonna win in the music department, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Star-Lord's mixtape has some awesome classic tunes. Effects-wise, the CGI looks really nice. Like with Winter Soldier, Civil War had a lot more practical stunts and fighting this time around, which made it more interesting to watch. The choreography for the fights were insane, and that airport battle was absolutely orgasmic. And I'm sincere when I say orgasmic, because after the movie was done, the theater worker had to go behind me, hose down the seat where the five teenage boys were sitting. It was... I mean, it was atrocious. It was a mess. These are all good movies, okay? I don't care what you say, they're all good movies. The fact that they are able to balance out all these great characters and moments is quite impressive. If I had to pick one personally, it'd be that Guardians. However, if you pick any of these four, I couldn't really argue with you. Which, which is crazy, because this is a show called Movie Feuds, so you'd think there'd, there'd be so a people of feuds. I told you this was gonna happen if you did another comic book episode, and here we are. And there's more of me again. When, when did this happen? Don't worry about it. It's on like Joss Whedon. Just came up with that. Let's fight, poop face. Whatever! Get up! Wolverine Origins will not win. It was a joke. My fans won't let it go any longer. You failed them, Adam. You were the chosen one! I'm sorry, wait, did you just quote a line from the shitty Star Wars prequels? No, in the prequels? future, it's one of the most critically acclaimed movies of all time. No! <laughs> I'm just gonna go. No wonder this channel doesn't have more subscribers. No! More than just reviews, this is movie feeds. Yeah, no joke.